Hi folks, welcome back to Bite Your Avery Adventures. We've got rats. Hi folks, uh, bad news. It looks like we have a problem with a rat or rats. Um, <clears throat> we went in the Avery yesterday and noticed certain birds were missing. Um, so we obviously had to look around and see if there was any way they could escape, which we couldn't find. And then we found a few holes in the floor goodness knows how the rats have got in because it's walls on three sides and the side that's open here is built into some decking so unless they've come from behind that somehow I have no idea but I have now to try and stop the rats getting in so this should be a fun job so as we're really struggling for cash at the moment I went out and bought as many paving slabs as I could afford and a whole bunch of wire mesh and started the job. More on that later. But first, yet another pool for Donald. Yet another pool for Donald as somehow the other one sprung a leak. So uh, yeah, this is filling up. Could take the best part of a week because it's quite a big pool. Hopefully this pool will last a little longer than the last couple we've had. He seems pretty happy in it. The only issue I've got is it's absolutely enormous, so it's a bit of a nightmare to empty and refill. Regardless, he's a happy duck. Not long after this, we got a really cold snap. So that's Donald's pool with a layer of ice and some snow coming down on it. It's very cold. I had to turn the heaters back on at the back of the Avery to take the chill off the air. I had to break the ice on the drinking water and made sure everyone was stocked up with food. We're going to feed our chickens and our duck lots of fruit and vegetables. So here is a bucket full of vegetables for the chickens. We sometimes volunteer for our local food bank, so often end up with almost sell by date salad and fruit and obviously this makes our chickens very happy so they love the vegetables and fruit and it's really good for them and I usually do this once or twice a week but unfortunately we have to go back to the really big problem at hand our rat issue since we discovered we had this rat issue we found we've lost some of our favorite birds Almost all of our interesting mutation zebra finches, like this Theo, we've lost two of those, and an Isabel and one penguin type zebra finch. Also, we had a very big, quite tame male zebra finch, we've lost him too. We've also lost about half of our canaries, including some we've had for a while, and almost all of our Chinese painted quail. On top of this, we've lost some diamond doves and Bengalese finch too. The remaining three Chinese painted quail we have, I've moved over to the enclosure attached to the shed. The rat prevention has consisted of me trying to cover as much of the floor as I can in ways that stop the rats from coming in and getting any more of our birds. So what I've done is I've dug up everything up in there put paving slabs around the outside lots of rocks and underneath the rocks there is um, wire wire mesh so here we've got more paving slabs and more paving slabs again all the paving slabs go right round all the edge of the aviary and the bits that don't have paving slabs on currently have wire mesh underneath so I'm hoping certainly in the short term that that will be enough to stop us losing birds although I don't believe that's the end of our rat problem I think I've stopped them getting into the Avery easily I go in every day and check the floor and also check all the birds that I recognise in the Avery. Thanks very much for watching. I need to make a very quick apology. I have a very close family member who's very, very poorly in a hospice. So my time is unfortunately limited right at this time. But stick with us as we value your support so much. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and please subscribe. See you soon.